Hello and welcome to another TEN Tech and Rush News section. Our start for today's TEN will be the battle of the Galaxy S8 chipsets. The Snapdragon 835 versus the Exynos 8895. As it's always been the case with Samsung flagships, for this year the Galaxy S8 variants will come with two separate and different versions. One for the US and China running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 and one for the west of the world powered by the Samsung's own Exynos 8895. While the two chipsets have their differences, they are fairly minimal and it's fair to say that the end user will probably never feel them. Furthermore, Samsung is unlikely to sell an underpowered version of its device in any given market. For more information about this, you can check the first link in the description below. Our second news for today's TEN is the Google Space Project, which is going to be shut down. Google is shutting down the experimental chat app that organized small group sharing around specific topics. It's never had much traction and with such low usage in space, no one could hear you scream. Google Space was sort of messaging app crossed with a collaboration tool that has been launched last year and emphasized group conversation around specific topics. Space will be switched to read-only mode starting on April the 17th. In the grand Google tradition, the app will be shut down a year later. For more information about this, you can check the link in the description below. The last news for today's TEN is the Mobile World Conference and the 5G which is going to be the best for LOT companies. In the LOT area, mobile carriers customers are no longer just people. They do have to deal with machines, vehicles, sensors, hotspots and everything that we can call it a thing and all of that must be done in orchestrated ecosystem. This year's show on the Mobile World Conference will host data processing and analytics company, car makers, smart cities and VR and AR tech firms. In short, every vendor who fancies its role in the emerging 5G ecosystem has joined the gold rush to Barcelona. Communication service providers are still the Mobile World Conference core audience, but for most of them, the Mobile World Conference this year is anything but business as usual. For more information about this, you can check the third link in the description below. For more information, questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comment section below. If you are new, take a moment and consider subscribing. This is GM4K from Tech and Raj. Thank you for watching. Peace.